Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying six items from Silke in Germany. Thank you very much, Silke, for sending us these. And I'm also wearing the little uh, pendant on my uh, angel. my angel on my uh, chain here that you sent me. I think it's beautiful. Um, we cannot pronounce any of these things, <laughs> so I'm just going to go by what Silke uh, wrote to us. All of these are out right now for Easter. I don't know when this video is going to go up. Probably way after Easter, but they're out right now for Easter time. So um, they're all eggs, uh, and they're like they'll remind you of the like the Lent Lindor uh, type of egg. They're all Uts too. Uts I, certified. What is Uts? Certified? I, that means something else there. Oh, Uts is a brand here. Okay, yeah, it means something else there. Okay, you can hold them up as I sound. Uh, this one is caramel. This one Kevin can read. Brandy cream. <laughs> Brandy, yeah. Uh, the next one is eggnog. The next one is, it just says brittle eggs. The next one is rum chocolate sprinkles egg. And the last one is wafer eggs with milk. So, yeah. Some so, of these have alcohol too, don't they? Yes. I'm not sure. Two, Let, two of these have alcohol. Let's try the wafer egg with milk because I think that one sounds like it'll be the plain. I'm going to move these out of the way. I know you won't be able to see them, but I'll move them back in when we get to them. So, this is the wafer egg with milk. It says it has chocolate mm. cream filling. There's two different colors. There's a chocolate one. Oh, I don't know why I expected them to be individually wrapped. I guess because the other ones, some of these are individually wrapped. There's a chocolate and there's a white one. Oh, okay. So. There you go. The, the picture looks like it's split half and half as far as the coloring goes. So if you cut it sideways. Like yeah, this? Yeah. yeah, it just. Okay. Sure. I bet you the chocolate one's the same line. Literally half chocolate, half milk. Or blurry. There we go. Mm. Those are good. These are a really good way for a cookie. Mm-hmm. I bet you the chocolate ones are the same. It sure does. The chocolate though reminds me of a like a Keebler fudge stripe um, chocolate. Mm. That's good. I like the chocolate one better. Oh, you do? Well, mm -hmm. I didn't get, you didn't offer me half of it. No, I've been coughing lately, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm sick or not. I swear I'm not, but but you never know. The white one, the I guess the vanilla or whatever, it was good, but it, the chocolate one I had. More of a chocolate flavor. Mm hmm. It's good. Those are really I like good. them both equally, honestly. The chocolate did add more of a, um, a chocolate flavor, of course, because the outside, the whole outside is coated with chocolate. I'm almost inclined to say that I like the wafer one better. The white one? Because it was plainer. Those are both good, though. I Those like really them good. both. I like when they have bags that fold over tape. Okay, let's just go. We'll just go this way. Okay. Uh, this one is supposed to be. Rum. Rum chocolate sprinkle eggs. And they're not individually wrapped either. No. <clears throat> These are the only two not individually alcohol. wrapped. This one does? Oh, okay. So three with alcohol. Okay. Ooh. Yep. That's alcohol. You smell it? <laughs> yeah, I just got a whiff of it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Woo! That already burns. You just cut that one in half. Or bite it in half. It's cool looking. It looks like a looks like a beaded purse. <laughs> Doesn't. I hope I got that. Doesn't look like a beaded purse. Yes, it Hopefully does. Hopefully, it's not uh, liquidy Ooh. in the middle. It's soft. I don't think it is. I think it's just the chocolate. Yeah. It's very soft, like a like a piece of fudge. I have a feeling it's gonna be really strong. The cat is making weird noises. Mm. That's good, but different. I mean, that's 
It's delicious. It's it's good. It's just weird. Mm. The the texture is really like soft like a fudge, mm -hmm. but then it's got these little crunchy bits on the outside, and that rum flavor is not really super strong. It's a good light flavor. I like those. Those are actually good. To me, it's almost like a truffle. Yeah, but it's like got like a, a little sugary bit. The rum, there. I love rum. And that rum is absolutely, it goes perfectly with that chocolate. Mm -hmm, it does. Uh, and I love the texture. If you didn't have the, those little crunchy sprinkles on the outside, it just wouldn't be the mm -hmm. same. It would be good, but it wouldn't be the same. That added just that extra oomph that it, it just needed. It mm -hmm. took it right over the edge. That is so, so, so good. I love that. Those are good. Um, Try a non-alcoholic one now. We'll, we'll go back okay. and <laughs> We'll, we'll go back and forth. Okay, well this is brittle eggs. That's all it says is brittle eggs. I'm wondering how the picture looks like looks a like, butterfinger inside. It looks like, yeah, it does look like a butterfinger on the inside. These are individually wrapped. It's a good size egg. I have paper that wants to stick to my hand. This is how it looks before I cut it. Looks like just an ordinary chocolate egg. And if it is brittle. You gotta break that plate. Yeah, if it is brittle, I might it. be better off biting it. Just bite it in two. Okay. You bite it first and then. Mmm. Can you show that? Because it's multicolored. There you go. Hazelnut. It's wonderful. That's delicious. That's my favorite so far. That is delicious. And mm. it has a buttery, um, and there's a buttery mm. flavor to it as well. Do you taste the, is it hazelnut? Is that what I'm getting? I think, yeah, hazelnut and buttery. I'm looking like I can read the direct of the ingredients on there. The chocolate is delicious. Mm -hmm, that's good. Got a good crunch. That to it. Is, I love that. that that's really good. And it good. does, the texture of it does remind you of a Butterfinger, but it's not as hard as a Butterfinger. No, it's softer, and it's, but it's got the layers. Mm hmm. That's mm -hmm. very, very good. I'm going to see. You want to do that one or the brandy? Yeah, we can get that one. Okay. This one is eggnog. She said, she said it reminds you. Kind of. Eggnog, yeah. and in parentheses, she said kind of. And she said they're filled chocolate eggs. So this is going to be a liquid inside. Mm -hmm. And it has alcohol. Yeah. Includes alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That like smells it. like alcohol. I mean, uh, eggnog, actually. I'm assuming eggnog is just a creamed egg. I mean, just a cream milk. That one looks like a dragon egg. It's got like it scales. Does. <laughs> it does. It has scales. There you go. You might have to bite it if it's got liquid inside of it. Yeah. There's you, no way I can. Well, I might be able to. Just be careful. If I drip a little bit, it's okay. There we go. It's got a liquid inside. <clears throat> Mind you, Winnie the Pooh Bear's honey pot. <laughs> mm. I like that too. That's very nice. It's good to look. Alcohol's a little strong. Really, you think? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? He got it all. I got just the coating. I got just the coating because I took mm. the top off and I left all the the bottom for him because it's I didn't. Strong. Yeah, I'll, so you got all of it. You'll have to try another one. Yeah, because I didn't think it was strong at all. You want to try another one? <laughs> no, you don't have to. Truly. Bite it from the bottom. <laughs> bite it from the big part. <laughs> well, you can turn it up and turn bite the small part if you want. It's just just turn it upside down when you do it. Whatever way you do it, just bite bite it. Yeah, like that. It's um. I mean, it's not so strong like it make you sick or anything, but it is pretty strong. I took my tongue. You licked in there. Uh, <laughs> strong enough. It's got a good flavor to it. It is. It does kind of remind you a little bit of an eggnog without all the spice to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't. 
I don't like the flavor of that alcohol near as much as that rum. Yeah. And I, I honestly, I liked it better until the alcohol hit. Like, I, I enjoyed the taste of the cream, mm -hmm. and then the alcohol hit, and it's like, no, I don't like it anymore. Right. It, they're not bad. They just definitely wouldn't be my first pick. Mm -hmm. Not my first pick. All right, do you want to go ahead and do brandy, or? If you don't want to do it, we can we wait. Can, no, we can do this one. Okay. Okay, right, well, this one is brandy. brandy. She said it is, what it, uh, it is what it says. This is brandy cream, right? Mm hmm and so the egg, I wonder if it'll have the dinosaur look to it. Yep, it does. Okay, so I don't have to hold that up. It looks the same as the one we just showed you. You can do the same thing. What, tilt lick it, it out? Back. Tilt it, tilt it back and get, there you go. That one's runnier. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna pick this one up and show you because it's it's really liquidy. But it's it, really runny. It's, um, it's kind of like a, a brownish yellow color. Wow, they're strong. Put two in a shot. Mm -hmm. I found that I don't really like brandy. Yeah, I don't think I'm a brandy person either. Ooh, that burns in my back of your throat. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I don't think I'm a brandy person. Mm. I'm a rum person. I love rum. Anytime I have rum, and what is that bourbon? I love bourbon. Anytime I've had anything with brandy, I haven't liked it. I know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you know what, though? We will give these to Andrew. Oh, he'll love them. Yeah, Andrew will love them, but I'm keeping the rum ones for me. <coughs> okay, the last one we have oh. is caramel eggs. <coughs> sorry, that one made me cough. So it, it just says caramel. Yep, yeah. yeah, caramel eggs. Well, I can't wait to try this. This it, one looks it, like the dragon. Juice. Yeah, it should be the chocolate on the outside and caramel on the inside. And if you're wondering why I'm taking all the first bites, it's because Kevin has had a cough. Yeah, I don't mind eating after you, but you don't need to eat after me. Uh, I'm not be able to show that. <clears throat> this kind of was what the brandy one looked like, except it was runnier. The brandy was very runny. But it was in, that same color almost. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like that one. It's the runny caramel, like a car caramello. Caramello. Mm -hmm. mm, I like that. Yeah, that's very good. Some caramel has like a burnt, burnt caramel flavor, and which that, is good. I don't think that does. This that. one does not. No. This just is a really just a very sweet, sweet, yeah, very sweet caramel. Well, um, I think my favorite one was that. Was I knew you were gonna say that. The what is what, it? Brittle number. What number? Of oh, sixteen. Number 16 was the brittle egg. That That's was my the favorite. one that reminded us kind of like a Butterfinger candy bar. By far, that was my okay, favorite. Okay, my favorite was the rum. Really? Yeah, I like the rum, so we will definitely... These, I will tell you the ones that are going to stay at our house. The rum will stay at our house. This will stay. The brittle will stay at our house. And this will probably stay. And that one... These will... Uh, oh, the caramel. Caramel has to stay. So the brittle... The so we're just taking the brandy and the eggnog. We're taking, the, yeah, the brandy and the eggnog. Yeah, because yeah, I'm, yeah, we're just not brandy people. And the eggnog was good. It's just not something I'd want to sit and eat. Yeah, all the time. Like, I'll want to sit and eat a bunch of these, whereas <laughs> I won't want to sit and eat a bunch of those. So you would only need one of those, and then you'd be like, I'm, I'm finished. Done. Yeah, that would, yeah, at least that would keep you from not eating a lot. So. Thank you very, very much. So, okay, it was so fun getting to try these. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming you don't put the alcoholic ones in your kids' <laughs> Easter baskets. There you go, kids. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that would be a very fun adult Easter basket. If you yeah. were going to make a version for adults. And I'm shocked, honestly, that the alcohol companies haven't come up with that here. Adult. Because wouldn't that be fun? if the alcohol companies like Maker's Mark to come out with- Like bourbon balls. Like bourbon balls, but come out with <clears throat> eggs and then you, they could make adult. If anybody does that, I want the money for it. Because <laughs> I just came up with that, okay? You hear me? Now, uh, and you know what? In Germany, they very well may put these eggs in their kids' baskets. Not young kids, but you never know. 
I know the drinking age is lower there. If you put these in Lena's basket, I want you to <laughs> Yeah, let us know. <laughs> let us know where you would put these because around here, Easter's really sold as a kid's holiday. So we, you don't you don't have adult eggs. You right. know, they, just, they wouldn't even think to do that. But I here. love that. I like the idea. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Maker's Mark they don't, they don't have do the the wide breadth of different flavors and types of eggs here. It's literally just chocolate and cream. Right. That's it. Right. Well, this has been fun. We've really, really enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it too. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I've tried all kinds of things from Silke, from Germany. We, mm -hmm. we all have. Um, and we're, we have more to try. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.